morning is Friday the 11th of February and this morning I have a Warburton's bagel for 129 calories. I've got half a pack of the Aldi smoked salmon for 98 calories and 30 grams of Aldi's garlic and herb soft cheese for 48 calories and I've measured 200 mils of milk for the day for my coffees and that is 68 calories so I'm really looking forward to eating this I haven't had it for a while so I'll catch you later this is my lunch today I have got French toast and it's a total of 200 calories I've got two slices of the nimble bread and 150 grams of egg whites cinnamon and vanilla essence and some blueberries strawberries and raspberries so it is a total of 200 calories altogether. I'm having this satsuma for an afternoon snack. There's 122 grams and it's 50 calories. So yeah, I'm just going to sit and have this for 10 minutes with a nice coffee. Thank you. Come on then. Come on. Oh, it's a good girl. Honestly, I talk to her like as if she's a child. A little treat now. Good girl. Come on then. What's the holes in the wall, Dave? What you done for? Look where you're going. Be careful. Oh, it's a big hole here. Well done. Keep going. Enough. Oh, another one. It's a nice sunset. Daisy's found a new bench. They just put that there. I think it's going to be another frost tonight, don't you? Yeah, it will be, yeah. Daisy? <laughs> For tea tonight, I've got chicken fillet, which is 207 calories. I've got a bag of Tesco's cauliflower rice for 29 calories. The tender stem broccoli is 37 calories. And then I've got lighter than light mayo for 10 calories. And I've got a small bit of sriracha sauce on there just to give the rice, cauliflower rice, a bit of flavour. And that is eight calories. So yeah, that is my tea tonight. And I'm absolutely starving after the walk. So I'm going to really look forward to this. So I've got 50 grams of this. And it's 96 calories. So I haven't had this for years. I used to have this when I was a kid. So I uh, got that in Tesco's yesterday. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy that. 96 calories. Well, I've just got back from my dad, so I've visited him tonight, and I had my normal coffee and stuff there, and um, I took the Weight Watchers bars that I bought yesterday, if you saw my shopping haul, um, to have one of those and give him one. Um, so I ended up eating two of those for 148 calories, and... Uh, so obviously had the coffee mate and the sugar, everything else I believe, yeah everything else you have seen today. Um, I've obviously got my usual snack in for later. So I'm ending on 1,277, so that's 23 calories remaining. So um, yeah, so I'm feeling, feeling good again today. Um, so tomorrow... I'm going off for the day with my daughter shopping and we're going to go, I think, and I've never, ever been to Nando's. Never been to Nando's. I'm 45 and I've never been to Nando's. So we were going to go to the cafe that we usually go to um, and then we kind of was talking about all the restaurants that are there. Um, I looked at Wagamama's quickly looked on NutriCheck and uh, that's quite high in calories Wagamama 
So then um, she said about Nando's. So I've had to look on uh, NutriCheck for the calories for that. And I think, let me tell you, uh, Nando's Rainbow <coughs> Bowl, 528 calories. So I think that that's what I might go for. There was something um, that my daughter said she had when she last went to Nando's. Can't think what it was called. It was something in a pitta. Um, and I think that was around 600 calories. But I'm taking it that that's just 600 for the <coughs> sorry, pitta thing. Um, and then obviously your fries are extra calories on top of that. So I think I'm going to go for this Nando's Rainbow Bowl. Um, hopefully it'll be nice. So that's 528 calories. So yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I've put in my breakfast already. So <coughs> I don't know what's wrong with my... Um, so I know what I'm going to be having for breakfast. Um, so yeah. And as you saw today, I had what I would have at breakfast for my lunch today. I really, really craved um french toast all morning this morning i i craved french toast so i decided that that's what i would have for my lunch and i put fresh fruit with it today where i normally put uh <coughs> oh gosh i think something's tickling my throat i normally put frozen fruit that i've defrosted in the microwave so it makes it nice and like juicy and then you pour the juice on the on the French toast but today because I had the fresh fruit it didn't go quite so well as having the defrosted fruit so definitely next time I will keep to the frozen fruit so I can't wait for the English strawberries to come in because I'm finding them so hard at the moment they're like rock hard like crispy and crunchy I don't like it so anyway and I haven't even looked at my macros today let's have a look we'll have a look together so my protein is good, 101.1 grams. Sugar is extremely high today. Fat and saturated fat is okay. So my breakfast was 343. My lunch, oh, it's dead on 200 calories. Um, my tea was 381. Oh, and that included that little bit of ice cream that was delicious that was um and then snacks 353 so that is see this is where the sugars come in high i expect <coughs> from the chocolate bars the weight watchers bars um 148 for those two and i had the satsuma the whips in for later coffee make sugar so yeah I got 23 calories remaining. So, yeah, hopefully the weekend will go uh, good as well. Um, and I'm seriously, seriously considering doing this diet, diet break. Um, now, Adele, if you follow Adele from the Holistic Dieter, she talks a lot about these diet breaks and I've been chatting to her about it um, and as you know because I am like I am with gaining weight and everything it worries me massively that when I'm on the break on the main maintenance calories that I'm going to be gaining because you've seen yourself that I only have to go off track a little bit and I and I gain easily so that is what's worried me quite a bit you know when I have thought about it previously um but I'm gonna try it I think I'm not 100% sure but I'm pretty much sure um and I think it would mean one week break and then three weeks in a deficit I think but I'll speak more about it probably <coughs> on Monday um, because I'll stick to what I'm doing now until weigh day and then um, I'll discuss it and let you know what's happening if it is going to happen. So it's just a 
it's on my mind and I'm, you know, I, I kind of feel like I need to start stepping it up a little bit, maybe. So, anyway, but I'll, I'm will i going to think about it now over the weekend and um, hopefully I'll speak to Adele a bit more about it and come to a decision. And as I say, I'll let you know Monday. So, thanks so much for watching and I hope you all have a lovely weekend. I'm... <coughs> Really looking forward to my day out with my daughter tomorrow. It's so nice to have a girlie's day. Um, I'm not looking forward to the money that I'm going to be spending, but there you go. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. And if you could like the video, and I'm going to keep coughing, so I'm going to go. Uh, if you could like the video, and if you haven't already subscribed, it would be lovely if you would. All you need to do is press the subscribe button and the little bell to be notified each time I upload. And it's all free. And I would just love to have you along for the rest of my journey. So take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.